highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. Petersham, a suburb in Sydney's Inner West, is six kilometres southwest of the Central Business District. The area was named Petersham or Petersham by Major Francis Gross after his native village in Surrey, England. In 1793-94, land grants were made in the area. John White, surgeon of the First Fleet, received 100 acres. Other major landowners were William Patterson and Garnham Blacksall. Petersham was an agricultural area with some of the best crops and stocks in the colony. In 1817, Blacksall's property, Petersham Hill, was advertised for sale and was purchased by William Charles Wentworth, later owned by Robert Wardell. Captain John Piper accumulated a number of the early land grants, which became known collectively as the Petersham Estate. In 1830, Wardell purchased the Petersham Estate and built Sarah Dell on Parramatta Road. The estate contained valuable stands of trees. Wardell was murdered and his property was inherited by his sisters. In 1833, Abraham Hearn was granted a publican's licence for the Australian on Parramatta Road, the site of today's Bald Face Stag. The name of the hotel was changed to the Woolpack Inn. Thomas Shaw, the publican in 1844, opened a race course with the entrance gate opposite the inn. It was an irregular oval-shaped course, up and down hill, and extended from Parramatta Road to the present-day railway line. The first issue of Bell's Life of Australia featured Petersham races on the cover. Shaw established the colony's first public lawn bowling green, the Sydney Morning Herald, August 1845. Thomas Shaw of the Woolpack Inn, Parramatta Road, has much pleasure in announcing to his numerous patrons, friends and the sporting gentlemen of Sydney and its environs that he has just completed at a great expense a full-sized, beautifully turfed bowling green which he intends to open shortly. The first ever completed in the colony. There are no pleasure grounds in the neighbourhood of Sydney which offer so many and such first-rate advantages, combining paddocks for pigeon shooting, the splendid Petersham race course, quite grounds, etc., which are all kept in order for the accommodation of the sporting community at a great cost. The Petersham estate was subdivided. In 1851, the foundation stone of a Roman Catholic church was laid. With the anticipated opening of the Sydney to Parramatta Railway, large estates were offered for sale. Part of the Petersham estate was advertised as the Sydney estate, with an auction on the 9th of October, 1854. Sydenham, a most picturesque and beautiful village about three and a quarter miles from Sydney, from its gentle elevation above the surrounding country and commanding panoramic view of metropolitan city and suburbs, is justly named after that far-famed spot in our fatherland which has been chosen as a site for the wonder of modern times the Crystal Palace Sydenham. From its position, the neighbourhood must ere long become a place of considerable importance. The Sydney Railway passes through it, and the second station from Sydney stands in the very middle of it. Wardellville, with frontages to Parramatta Road, Crystal Street and New Canterbury Road, was described as... Already a thriving village with abundance of good water, the proximity of the railway cattle station, from which it is separated by Crystal Street, must necessarily bring to it a daily increasing business. Stockholding yards for sheep and cattle were located in Cattle Road, today's Palace Street. In South Petersham, the Norwood estate and surrounding area were advertised as suitable for villas, private residences and general business. Petersham Post Office opened in 1855. 
It was renamed Annandale in 1872. Norwood Post Office opened in 1860. Services were moved to the railway station after 10 years. Mail was still being distributed from the station when a new post office was opened in 1896 on the corner of Fishers and Palace, today Audley, streets. This was replaced in 1974. The railway station, originally called Sydenham, was opened in 1857 as a halt stop. In 1860, the first Church of England service was held in a small schoolroom next to the present town hall site. A building fund was set up to erect a church. The Petersham Inn on Parramatta Road was established. Henry Hughes was the licensee. A congregational church opened in 1862 on the site of the former racecourse grandstand. The first congregational service had been held in a hayshed on Parramatta Road, next to the Ball Face Stag in 1852. After a larger church in Croydon Street was erected in 1878, the old church became a school and hall. The new church was later demolished and a private hospital built on the site. The old Railway Street Church was again in use, today a uniting church. A Catholic cemetery was established on 15 acres of land owned by the church. It opened in 1863 and closed in 1888. In the 1920s, remains and tombstones were relocated to Rookwood or Bonnerong cemeteries and the land was redeveloped. The Lears Gazette of 1866 described Petersham as a small postal town, a place of residence for people working in the city and living out of it, characterised by villas and cottages and several shops. The foundation stone of All Saints Church of England was laid in 1870. Land for the church had been donated by Mrs Priddle, Robert Wardell's sister. The following year, the church, featuring polychrome brickwork and fish scale tiles, was completed. The borough of Petersham, with a population of 750 people, was declared. The council chambers were situated on the corner of Crystal Street and Stanmore Road. A public school opened in 1878. Girls' secondary classes were added in 1897. When it became a girls' secondary school in 1965, Primary pupils were transferred to Lewisham Public School. Overcrowding at Lewisham led to the re-establishing of a Petersham Public School. In 1987, Petersham girls merged with Newtown boys to become the School of Performing Arts. The Gordon Street School came under the control of TAFE, today New South Wales School of Languages. A police station was built in 1880. The area became a favoured location for professional gentlemen who wanted a suburban villa lifestyle, but needed to be within easy reach of their place of work, usually in the city. Houses in Palace Street date from that time. Number 21 was the home of Percy Horden of the retailing Horden family. During the late Victorian period, grand homes were built by wealthy businessmen. John Britton built an Italianate mansion in Shaw Street at a cost of eight thousand pounds. Originally called Paritana from the late 1930s, it has been known as Trethaway. In 1882, a town hall was built. It was described as a magnificent stone erection. It has offices for public and official business. It will be noticed how happily the architect has designed a small balcony over the main entrance for the use of officers elected or want to be elected to address their constituents from. Above this is a disc which should be a clock but which up to the present had not appeared. The Mayor, William Parling, music shop proprietor, donated a clock for the tower. The building was extended in 1910 and demolished in 1938. The clock was relocated to the new town hall. Built in 1883, although somewhat altered today, the footbridge is a good example of Gothic-style iron railway work. The Petersham Baptist Church opened in 1884. The following year, an Italianate railway station replaced the original one. From Henry Lawson's memoirs. Another rainy night on Petersham platform. The sickly gas lamps, the wet, shiny asphalt, Posters on mean brick walls, close at hand the light glistening on the 
enamelled iron notice saying second class wait here and I alone and tired as usual and cold with a shoddy overcoat coarse as sacking and warm as a refrigerator but it was here that I struck the keynote or key line of Faces in the Street. In 1886, a fire station called Stanmore opened. When it closed in 1991, it was the oldest continually occupied permanently manned station in Australia. Today, a five star hotel and event centre named Petersham Fire Station Paradise. The Lord Carrington Hotel was established becoming the Carrington, the White Cockatoo, today West Village. Petersham Park was proclaimed. Planted with exotic trees, camphor laurels, box and Canary Island palms, the park became a community venue for tennis, cricket, football, baseball and concerts. Don Bradman scored his first century in Sydney at Petersham Oval. The TJ Andrews scoreboard was named after a local player. The D. Seddon Memorial Pavilion was named after Dudley Seddon, a New South Wales representative in cricket and rugby league. In 1887, the laying of a foundation stone for a new St Thomas's Church. The convent of the Little Company of Mary was built. An underground reservoir was constructed in 1888. An elevated one was added in 1965. The water tower is the highest point on New Canterbury Road, 46 metres above sea level. A children's hospital opened in 1889 and was managed by the Little Company of Mary. Over the next 100 years it became larger and more general. Closing in 1988, it was taken over by the St Vincent de Paul Society for housing. In 1890, Petersham Technical College was located in All Saints Church Hall. Today, TAFE is located in this 1902 building. At the end of this station, a subway was built in 1891 to replace the level crossing. Access from the subway to the station was closed in 1988. A meeting was held to form the Petersham Borough Brass Band in 1894. When a bowling club formed in 1896, the trustees of Petersham Park allocated part of the park for the purpose of creating a green. In the same year, the Petersham Waratah Rover Cycling Club was formed. To celebrate the coronation of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra, a rotunda was erected in the park in 1902. The female school of industry, first established in Macquarie Street, then Darlinghurst, was moved to 78 Shaw Street, Petersham in 1903. It was a girls and domestic training home for those aged from 4 to 14. It closed in 1926 and became part of Church of England homes and hostels. A brick warehouse, purpose built to suit the narrow triangular site, has business records dating from 1905. It was a produce store owned by James Gould until 1922. Martin Brothers fuel merchants were there for two years until Bainan and Hayward occupied the premises. In 1908, All Saints Rectory was built. A scout troop was formed in 1910, one of the first in New South Wales. Two silk flags, the Union Jack and Scout Standard, donated by patrons Miss Caroline and Miss Amy Fairfax, were made in England by the Royal Art Needlework Society. In 1912, the Queen's Cinema opened. It was demolished in 1921 and replaced by the Majestic. Renamed the Odeon when taken over by Greater Union in 1946, finally closing in 1977. From 1979 till 2003, the Majestic roller skating rink occupied the building. In 2012, conversion to apartments was completed. Fort Street Boys High School moved from Observatory Hill to Tavernus Hill in 1916 to the Sarah Dell site. Norwood Street was changed to Fort Street. The girls' school moved there in 1975 creating a co-educational high school. In 1921, Anzac gates were erected at the park, 
the stone pillars and iron gates were originally part of the old town hall. The Petersham Assembly of God, founded in 1922, was the first in Sydney. It has been at the current location for more than 45 years. A soldier's memorial hall opened in 1924, location of the Petersham Marital RSL Club. Becoming the Petersham Club in 1955, new premises were built in 1961 in Regent Street. All Saints Church Hall was built in 1926. The Masonic Temple, the Scottish Royal Arch Temple, was built in 1928. The Egyptian Room, from a demolished temple in College Street, was reconstructed at Petersham in 1977. Some red cement street names can be seen in the footpath. The Petersham Inn was rebuilt in 1937 in Art Deco style. Three years later, the Western Lounge was added. A new town hall with an hexagonal clock tower was built in 1938. The first town hall with a public address system. It became a social mecca for popular jazz and dancing. The Church of Christ Scientist Congregation met in the Masonic Hall for 10 years until the church was built on the corner of Crystal and Brighton Streets in 1940. An octagonal shaped auditorium held 350 people. In 1975, the building housed the Master Touch Piano Company, a large-scale manufacturers of piano rolls. Today, it is the Metropolitan Community Church. In 1942, Miller and Company opened a brewery on Parramatta Road at Tavernus Hill, now used for storage. Maundrell Parkland was purchased by the council in 1944 and used as a council nursery. In 1945, an RAF aeroplane broke up over the public school. The pilot and observer were killed. Memorials to them are in the school garden. Two civilians were also injured and 18 properties damaged. In 1949, Petersham and Maryville councils merged. An administration centre was later built in Fisher Street. Petersham Swimming Pool was built in 1962 and renamed the Fanny Durack Petersham Pool in 1999. Refurbished in 2014 to become the Fanny Durack Aquatic Centre. During the 1970s, the Portuguese community began to move into the area. Today, Petersham is predominantly a residential area. The Portuguese restaurants and business are known as Little Portugal. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, then ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Coming soon, All Saints Church Petersham, an unrecognised architectural gem. And check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com.